Kimberly? Yeah. You know what I don't like? I don't know. I don't like spending $80 on a video game and then getting robbed in pure daylight. And it sucks because we both actually really like the game. I would like to point out that I bought the base version and I did not get robbed. So this game is called Disney Dreamlight Valley, which is essentially Disney's answer to Animal Crossing. Kim really likes it. Kim, look how many hours you have. It's not that much. So Kim's pumped The game's been out for how long? 55 um, hours. It's going to be free to play next year, but Kim and I wanted to jump in. So you yes. paid $30. I paid the 30. There's like a 50 or $60 pack, yeah. and then there's, and there's the, the $80 the 80, pack. Yeah. That's what I got. You might be wondering why I did that. <laughs> Me too. But the answer is actually right there. Oh, you do get way more stuff. Oh, you get a little fox? No, you don't. Mm. You're supposed to. The whole reason why I bought it is because I was live on Twitch and we saw the fox and I thought it would be cute. You get all of this and then you get 20,000 moonstones. That's partially what the value is. For example, imagine if you went to like Fortnite and you paid 20 bucks to get some V-Bucks in the yeah. game. And imagine then you, if I did that. Yeah, imagine if you do it a lot. And then you just didn't get your V-Bucks. What did I spend my money on? I right, don't know. Right. And that's what's happened to me. So I emailed Gameloft on September 22nd. I said, I ordered, purchased the Ultimate Edition on Switch. However, I did not receive my in-game bonuses and rewards. I only received the base game rewards. I've been playing for two days and have progressed decently into the game. I was told to file a ticket by somebody else who had this issue. I got a reply <laughs> that says, I sincerely apologize for not being able to get in touch sooner. Thank you, Natalie. Our game team is still investigating the issues. Investigation over. There's no need to call Sherlock Holmes for this one. I paid for something and didn't get it. We continue on working on game stabilization. I don't care about that. Yeah. I don't care. She's letting you know what she is working on. Yeah, I don't care what you but are working on. Yeah, this is just... like if a, if a member of your family got moited, right? And you've been waiting three weeks to find out from the FBI who the killer is. And they send you an email and they say, to be honest, we found a lot of killers. You know, we've been out here and we've sold a lot of moiters. We're getting to yours. Just letting you know though, we're doing really good over here. I really care about that. <laughs> With warmest regards. I have never experienced this before. For one, I've never paid $80 for a game in my life. I don't know why I even did it. I don't know why you did it either because you're not really like P a Disney person. Purely for the fuck. So. And two, I've never ever paid or bought a game and then like not, not got, it. got it. This game is going to be free next year. Honestly, with my experience, I would say wait. It isn't finished. It does have its problems. And if you want a game that's not buggy, wait. Oh boy, I just got back from therapy and guess what? I'm a mess. You know what's not a mess though? Eating when you cook with Factor. While I tell you all about Factor and how good it is, let me show you how easy it is to prepare a meal using Factor. Hit start in just two minutes. So while that cooks, my, my literally my dinner is right there, ready in two minutes. I don't even have time, I gotta hurry up. Factor makes meeting the nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Look, we're all busy this full season, right? The leaves are turning brown, you wanna get out there, you wanna go apple picking, you wanna go pumpkin picking, here's a nice apple, you can't have it though, it's mine. And you don't wanna get home and then have to cook that apple. <laughs> What you wanna do is open your factor meals, which are sent straight to your doorstep, prepared by chefs. Chefs! Not you, you suck at cooking. Not you, Kim. <laughs> You're pretty good. On top of that, this helps you hit your fitness goals because fitness really does start with food. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan and veggie options. They have over 25 different meals and like over 30 add-on options. Factor is super flexible, helps me hit my goals. I got 10 seconds, so let me tell you about their juice. I love their juices. They're only 120 calories for the whole thing and they're delicious. Let's get a snack. Dinner. Head to go.factor75.com slash beat'emup60 and use code beat'emup60 to get 60% off your first box. I'm really struggling with this. <laughs> cut that, cut that, cut that. I mean, by plating them, I am creating mess, which is something you can avoid by not. But it's just so good, just so good. It's like a chef made it for me. Don't eat with a knife, that's a bad idea. They've never given me 60% off before, so now is the time. Good. Let's go. What if my therapist would like this? Um, okay. So, the, what was that? The hair. What's wrong with my hair? I think Nothing's it's me perfectly. It. It's my hair, but go on. No, it's mine now. <laughs> right, so I played for 15 okay. hours. I really didn't want to put too much time into it because I want to have all my stuff when I play. But I have been liking what I've been playing. So this is your house. 
just like your house in Animal Crossing. Now you can yeah. move it any way you want. Yeah, and you don't have to wait, what is it, like three days? No. This is, I'm hopeful that the next iteration of Animal Crossing, they will take what these guys have done. Just like Animal Crossing, Great. you can decorate your house. My house is kind of a mess. I just have chests everywhere, keeping all of my stuff. Like in here, I'll have all my crops that I've been growing and stuff. You can also expand the house a lot. You can get yeah. other rooms and stuff, right, Kim? There are a couple of things though, that it is missing in terms of customization. You can't customize the outside. So everybody's house is just yellow. You're gonna make a room. Did I do it? Mm -hmm. Is it behind the fireplace? Another it's a thing. hidden doorway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that, that's kind of cool. That's another thing that you don't get to decide what the door looks like either. So oh, it just really? looks like that. So that's roughly the house. Yeah. You can expand it, make it bigger, add rooms like I just did. Very yeah. similar to Animal Crossing, but as you saw, you can do it immediately. You don't have to wait for yeah, Tom Nook to, wait. to take a whole day to do something. I plant my crops here, but I currently don't have any. Here's Maui, you wanna sing with me? I don't know. What can we say except you're welcome for the sun and the fish and the sky? I don't know how it goes. I don't either. Uh, so I have Maui on my island. Is it an island? I don't really know. It is on the water. Yeah. And they do but... literally call the Disney inhabitants villages. So you can give so... them gifts every day and they will tell you what kind of gifts they want. But mm -hmm. Sadly, I don't have any of those. What a surprise that the yeah. fish man wants a fish. He wants a fish and a pancake, um, which I mean. But you can also ask them to hang out and then they'll follow you around and everything you do with them will earn you points yes. and will go towards leveling them up. But also you get the option of what type of thing they can help you with. So you can choose mining or gardening or whatever. And depending on which one you pick, you get extra items when you're doing those things. Mm -hmm. Like when I go fishing with Goofy, he'll find me extra fish. Yes. And this is essentially the Nooklet store mixed in with Tom Nook. We so have a capitalist that's running it. We do. It's just not a raccoon. We have a duck it's this a time. Duck. We have Uncle Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge running the shop. The game runs on a day and night cycle, just like Animal Crossing. Every day there's new stuff in here and there's a lot of like themed things. Like this is a Moana shirt. Yes. Yeah, Scrooge runs the shop, but mm -hmm. also if you want to upgrade Anything. stalls around the town or build houses, you yeah. pay Scrooge McDuck yes. to do those things. So he yes, he's, he's definitely a capitalist. He's the, he's the Tom Nook. Also, we can go into Kim's store later because Kim's fully upgraded her yeah, store. Yeah, I've tried to fully upgrade everything that I can. I'm basically, I'm hawking pumpkins left and right, trying to get money yeah, to finish everything. Yeah, this game is all about pumpkin money. If you grow yeah. some pumpkins and sell them, you They're get, worth you get pumpkin so rich. so much money. So I, I won't go into everything, but over here, ironically, this makes no sense to me. Remy this, has the biggest house. This makes me angry this time. a little bit. Actually, let's go see if Remy's home. He doesn't even need a house. He's always at the restaurant. And there's actually a lot of things to do in this game too. Like if yes. you go into the restaurant, sometimes villagers will be in there and they'll be hungry. Yeah. Yeah, and they'll say what they want and you can That's a really for them. good way to level up your friendship with your villagers if you give them the thing they're asking for. So these are like my dailies. When I do yeah. these, they'll give me another one. Yeah. But then you have some reoccurring ones yes. that stack up like apples and plant vegetables. Very similar to another game. Oh my God, Moana and Mickey dating canon. Love that. Rest in peace, Minnie. Like, Here's a glitchy game. thing right here immediately. Oh, Why ew, that, that is weird. That's where my heart on 80 bucks is gone. There's so here's Remy and you can cook. You have like a whole recipe book and you find more recipes as you go. You can also just throw in whatever and just see what you make. That is another thing that I really like about this game is that you don't have to do things the way the game wants you to. You can kind of just do whatever you want. I put in okra and chili and got a veggie platter. So yeah. that's not bad. It does suck sometimes when you use an expensive ingredient and you accidentally make like a one star recipe with it. Yeah, but that's because you're a bad chef and I'm really good. So mm. every time I cook, it's usually three, four, five stars, you know, in that region, mm. no matter okay. what I put in there, even okay. just a couple carrots. Yeah, there's a bunch of biomes. There's another one up here. I can't believe you haven't so, unlocked that one yet. Well, I've only been playing for 15 hours. Oh, okay. Unlocked. You can see them here. I haven't unlocked up here or down there or over there. Goofy lives there. Moana lives in that shack behind it. Funny. I don't remember that floating platform. Is that always been It's there? always been there and I wonder what they're gonna do with those later, but we don't know yet. Wally lives in there next to Merlin. Also, Wally runs this little farm here. Something else that's cool about this game that I'm sure Kim's done more of than me. Not a is lot, but yes. You can landscape. Anything. Anything you want, you can move Anything. It. Like I could go in here, I could go to all, get like this for some reason, just mm -hmm. throw it there. So yeah, you can literally build whatever town you want. It's so yeah, nice. It's cool. This is a little crafting bench. Here's another thing that everybody complains about with Animal Crossing. Why do I have to have the stuff in my bag to be able to access my inventory? 
inventory yeah. to make things. This is what we mean. We yes. want this. Like, There's just... so many quality of life things here. So everything that I can craft with here is actually in my chests in my house. Uh -huh. But you it's just universal to... wide in yes. the game where I can just craft with it because I technically own it you somewhere. It. And then over here, the little beach area. Uh -huh. There's little goofy shacks everywhere where yeah. you can order seeds from him. Oh, gosh. Fish. Fishing is a little different in this game. It doesn't seem like there's like a seasonal fish situation. It seems like depending on the biome, that's what you can catch. Mm -hmm. And the different colors of the rings, it's telling you the difficulty, therefore the rarity of the fish. There's I got a that. fish. You know what my favorite part of this game is actually? Eh. No Bertha. Mm. There's no Bertha to ruin my day. Let's go around all happy. Mm. Quests. That's another thing that everybody wanted in Animal Crossing. Give me things to yes. do. Here's my quest list. Right now I have two quests, one from Goofy, one from McDuck. There's a bunch more I can unlock if I level up friendships. Yes. So this is the fun thing about this game and what gives it a real Kingdom Hearts vibes mm -hmm. is in the in the castle here, there are all these doors to other worlds. So you can visit Remy's world. You can visit Moana's world. Right now they've revealed DLC for Toy Story where you can visit Andy's room. Because this game isn't officially out yet, most of these doors are Have blank. Nothing. Well, this is like Remy's kitchen. It's you. basically like your practice kitchen. But if you want to yeah. try out recipes, he has all the ingredients. You can practice you can... cooking with Remy. So there's a lot to do. Uh -huh. I obviously haven't done a lot of it. I haven't unlocked all the areas. Once I do that, I'll get more like crops and seeds. Yes. And then once I start leveling up my friendships, because I, I worked on getting all the characters that are in the game currently. That's another thing. Up. You don't have to play the game any specific way. You can get all the characters first if you want. You can unlock all the biomes first if you want. You just kind of play at your own pace. There's no like dead deadlines for any of the quests or anything. Mm -hmm. You just kind of do it whenever. Yeah, it's very cozy, very casual. It has Animal Crossing vibes. It's like an elevated version, I feel like. So to clarify, I feel like Animal Crossing is more polished. It's finished. It definitely is finished. Yes. No bugs, has a lot to offer. It's yes. a really, really, really fun game. It's just this game, the reason why it's so good is because it does manage to offer everything that you wish Animal Crossing yes. offered to make Animal Crossing the best game ever. Again, I'm really hopeful that when the next Animal Crossing comes out, that they're going to do this because this is what everybody's been asking for. The resources refresh themselves pretty quickly. You can customize the overworld. It feels like there's more personality to your villagers because they give you things to do. There's Mickey. Okay. Oh boy. That's a pretty good Mickey. Thank you. You got anybody else? Ali! This is where my reward should be. This mm. is obviously says base game. You saw that I had purchased the ultimate. So I only have 8,000 of the little microtransaction things. And I, I, only I didn't have get a... any of that. So I don't know what's happening with mine either. Well, we got to look at that because I'm pretty yeah, sure this is what you paid I didn't for. get it. You didn't get... I didn't get any of that. I'm loading up Kim's game now so we can see if Kim was also wrong. I didn't robbed. get any of those items. But shards. speaking of glitches, if you're playing this game, you can probably leave your list below. Every day when you sign in the game, you get a few chests. Kim's don't work. Don't work. I can open mine and, and get the stuff out of it. Stuff. Thing. My game thinks I'm not connected to the internet. Therefore, I cannot save my game to the cloud and I cannot open any of my chests. Well, I'm going to sit with Goofy. Watch him get up. Be like, Good morning. Dude. Oh, I thought he was like going, get away from me. What is he doing? He's waiting for you to leave. Ooh, oh, I got snobbed oh. by Goofy. Yeah, like, I was like, he was hi, like, I got to go. Good morning actually. to you. Toodles, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch to Kim's game. Oh dear. So you can show, before anything, though, I well, want to check Well, why don't you just, see, I didn't get my founder's pack. You actually didn't get what you paid it. for either. So I guess I need to file a ticket. I didn't know. Oh my God. I didn't know. Damn. We spent $110 on this game and got access to the free. We both got robbed. Oh no. That's crazy. First, look at the drip. Loving this, loving the Mike yeah. Wazowski backpack. The outfits are, oh no. Kim's phone is ringing. Oh, wow, she's got like Monsters Inc. wallpaper. Oh, this is sick. It's like a whole Monsters Inc. room. She's got a little Monsters Inc. stuffy too. Dang, Kim's so much better at this game than me. What the heck? I've already shown them your whole house. Oh, no. It's fine. I expected better, I think. Oh. I'm kidding. Here's one thing that I like more about Animal Crossing than this game currently. Not a lot of wallpaper, flooring, furniture options. I like the Monsters, Inc. wallpaper. You oh, have. yeah, really I love cool. it. But with the free game model that is this game, what they're promising is constant updates. Especially keep once playing. the cosmetic stuff comes out, they're going to want you to keep spending money keep and coming back and, and keep playing. Keep paying. You know, ironically, and I do mean this ironically, this game will get better support than Animal Crossing did. I didn't know you could get the, the handsome 
second one, I just got the two pooey little girls from that movie. The two pooey little girls. Yeah, the one that sings about being I'm cold. I'm so sorry your little fella's not in your game yet. Unlock his biome. He's hiding in I want there. The, I want the sandwich fella. Does he sell sandwiches? What does he do? Because they finish each other's... Oh, see, no, that's a different guy. That's the bad guy. Oh. Oh, that's your shot. Yeah. Oh, that's wild. Oh, it's yeah. It's so big. I'll go in there. Let's see what's in there because I haven't played today. Oh, Bad computer. Wi-Fi computer from oh, Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, that's fun. So oh, when you so fully upgrade. Beds. That bed's cool. You oh, get a look big at the piece big of furniture It's here. so cheap. Yeah, that's like the basic furniture. A tub is 8,000. It's got the monster wall I know. It thing. matches the wallpaper. I know. Do you want it? I do. I just, can buy it. Yeah, just get it. Screw it. I don't care. I like spending money. That's not yeah. mine. Yeah. Oh, another thing is, I don't know how, I can't remember how Animal Crossing does it, but if you hold A, you'll just go and pick everything. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm not oh, on look, the internet. you're not on the internet. Ever. Even though my Switch is literally land wired in. 26, 27, 28. So there's almost 30 planned. Uh, there's more space here where more could go. 30, so. almost 30 planned doors and worlds, which most worlds we've been to already have had extra character, like more than one character. Yeah, like three Moana's characters world. each usually. I'm excited to see who they're going to add. Some of them are obvious, like all the princesses. Kim and I have really enjoyed playing this game. I do actually recommend it. Like I know it might look like a budget knockoff, ripoff, cash in kind of game. And you know what? Maybe it is. But it's legitimately fun. Mm -hmm. It's legitimately quality feeling despite and around all of the bugs. Visually, it's very pleasing. A lot of the storylines with the characters, like Minnie, are actually really heartfelt. Yeah, I like that I've a seen lot. a lot of people have teared up playing a lot of the side missions mm -hmm. or even just talking to goofy people are getting really happy. I need you to not call me out. <laughs> it Thank really, you very much. It honestly does feel like a Disney game. Like it feels like part it of Disney. It has a lot of the Disney magic that if you like Disney is really fun. And I'm hopeful that because it is Disney, they will put the love and the money into it that they need to in order to finish it and make it playable. Yes, because to yeah. stress right now, it's not finished. There's enough here for, to, for me to say it's worth 30. The <laughs> issue is you might not actually get the stuff you pay for. Like we both didn't get what we pay for. I yeah. really just want my little baby fox. He's so cute. I think. See, yeah. it's cool. It's fun. Play it if you want. Buy it at your own risk. Uh, there's a little bit of a PSA for you and also a review. Also, I hope you like the full theme that we went for here. It's all, we're all yeah. orange. Did you notice? Spooky boo. That's another thing I'm hopeful with this game. Sort Seasonal of. events. Seasonal. Seasonal events. Give me Give stuff. me more pumpkins to sell. I want pumpkin money. Halloween costumes. Boo. <laughs> Christmas snacks. Bye.